from WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. And welcome back. Calm and clear night outside. Look at the Corning Sky Cam. Not too much going on, but clear skies allowing for all that warmer air to escape, all that any that kind of moisture near the ground to really just escape. And it's bringing those temperatures down and down this evening. We're into the low 50s across the southern tier. 52 in Elmira and 51 in Canastillo. A little bit more warmth is being retained in the northern tier. 56 in Tioga and Mansfield. 54 in Tawanda. Look towards the Finger Lakes. It's 53 right now in both Penyan and Watkins Glen. Temperature-wise, well, 74 was our high. So we got up into the 70s. We hung there for a good bit. We were in the 70s from 1 to 6 o'clock. And once the sun went down, it just went down, 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 down. And that low this morning, 42. Not going to be as cold going into tomorrow morning. We're likely to see things around the 45 to 48 range in terms of lows. Some of us could see a low near 40. That's mainly over in Tioga County, New York. But for tomorrow, looking much nicer, much warmer for the general region. We're thinking up into the mid to upper 70s. So another nice late summer day and not much humidity, if any at all. We're just going to continue to stay dry. We're going to stay pleasant and calm. Maybe a few light breezes as well, but otherwise just very much calm. Won't even be thinking about the weather, really. There's not going to be too much going on. And that's the same thing there for the satellite and radar. Just not much going on, and even in terms of cloud cover. You know, if we wanted to find a decent shelf of clouds, we have to go further south of the Mason-Dixon line or even up towards Burlington, Vermont. There's just not much clouds in the, all of New York or Pennsylvania right now. It's just been that calm throughout the day. And again, back to our lows. We're likely to see a little bit of a fluctuation depending on where you're at. Think 46 near the Finger Lakes, 43 in parts of Steuben County, 46 in Tioga County, Pennsylvania, maybe 48 in Troy. 45 in Elmira, but over in Tioga County, New York, we could see some lows closer to that 40 degree mark later on this evening. Now, in terms of our temperature, we're just going to continue dropping down into the 40s, further on into the 40s until we get to about sunset or excuse me, sunrise tomorrow, because again, there's just not that much going on. We got to those temperatures, though. You can see here Wednesday on into Friday, we're likely to stay in those upper 70s. So a lot to look forward to there. So there's plenty of good weather still on our on our plate to still deal with going into the weekend. But it's when we get to Saturday is when we have that temperature start to drop into the 70s. There is that chance of rain that is accompanied on Saturday, about a 70 percent chance of rain. But again, we round out the week in a positive note with plenty of nice weather and dry conditions. We forecasted a high of 74 today and data from the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Actual high also 74 degrees. We'll go down to 45 tonight and mostly clear skies. Chilly conditions continuing throughout the region and we're going up to 78 tomorrow. Another warm day and we'll have two more to follow suit Thursday and Friday staying in the upper 70s. We got that chance of rain on Saturday, but afterwards cooling off for the 60s back to 70 by Tuesday. Look at that cool down. It's like almost like we hit um, fall, the season. Yeah, it's, it's and it's like lights off. Yeah, I hear the you know the meteorological fall mm -hmm. versus astronomical fall. It looks like meteorological is winning this one because it looks like it felt like fall started on the second really, mm -hmm. but now we're down to that chilly conditions. And the trivia question, we actually, it's a little bit on the nose here. We're talking about cold weather. To true or false, we're talking if there's been a low temperature in the city of Elmira recorded in the city of Elmira that was in the 20s in the month of September since the record started back in the 1800s. Absolutely, that's true. And you'd be right, you'd be right. That's, that's really a no-brainer, the, the coldest one. Yeah, we're down to 24, happened in 1947. I mean, just, I felt this, I felt this one was a no-brainer, honestly. But yeah, we've had cold ones. I mean, we've had 20 degree temperatures in May before. Mm -hmm. So this felt like a no-brainer, but yes, we have. We, it can get cold, so if you think right now is cold, it can always get colder. All right, thanks, Connor.